how's it going? It's SK. It's been a while uh, since I've done a video, but I have been busy uh, drawing and painting, as you can see. I'm actually uh, taking a break right now. I've been doing some pretty intense painting in the last uh, few weeks. I'm here in Orlando, Florida, uh, still traveling, uh, rambling around. Uh, I've been working on um, landscapes and uh, still life, just trying to get better, working on my, on my values here and uh, working on the temperature and of course uh, the color, okay? So values, uh, color, and temperature. This one worked out pretty well. Um, you can see the, uh, of course, the pear and then there's a, a pitcher and a couple of apples. I was trying to work on making this the focal point, if you will, the, uh, the pear, make it brighter and kind of recede the uh, uh, picture and the the two apples a little bit so I hope you can see that uh, and here's a landscape uh, painting worked up right gotta work on signing these two but here's a landscape painting uh, the focal point guess it's the umbrella the umbrella in the garden that's probably what I'll what I will name this is working on just having some bright colors still working on my values there's dark light dark light dark light of course, I probably missed a little bit by here, but it's supposed to be dark light. And then just trying to get that umbrella so it just really jumps out at us and creates some interest. And uh, here's another still life. You know, working on, uh, here's the light, here's the, the shadow side. And I was trying to get, work on the core shadow here, you know, showing where the, the cup is turning. Of course, glasses, these are, are coins, book. It worked out pretty well. Had some had some good comments from some of the other folks I was painting with that day. And now uh, this one worked out pretty well. Of course it's a uh, jug, a uh, black teapot, and an apple. And notice, notice, um, of course the light's coming from this side and I was attempting to, you know, show where it's the light and it's, it's warmer on this side then it starts getting cooler on this side, still working on that with my values, these are the shadows, all right, core shadows, Check, take a look at that apple, okay, here's the lighter side, showing a little bit of highlight at the end there, notice that, and then the shadows, here's your background, so still working on that, but it, it's a nice piece, uh, after the video I'll probably get around to signing these, I gotta work on signing these um, as I do them. Here's another landscape working on that. Uh, again, working is just another one of those days I was working on, on the values again. And, um, you know, uh, light, or excuse me, dark light, dark light. And then I was trying to get this vegetation where it was receding way back, so I was trying not to add too much yellow and just use uh, blues and greens. Uh, again, dark light, dark light. And then really trying to punch up the grass. So if you squint just a little bit, you can see that this plane here, the sky plane, if you will, is the lightest uh, as far as value, and then uh, the grass would be second, and of course followed by the uprights, which are the, uh, the trees, are the darkest of the planes. So it's really like three planes, one, two, and three. And that's trying to show some warmth there from the sun. And here's another one. <laughs> uh, still working on that with the, uh, the dark lights, uh, warm to cool, but it was fun, it was a fun day. And here's another one with a figure, actually put a figure, it's uh, uh, Glozell in the garden, actually captured it just real quick, was using some new paint that day. Um, so it worked out pretty well, of course, you know, there's always room for improvement. And here is a daring painting uh, with a uh, more uh, mature artist. We're working on just really punching up the temperature of the color, working on uh, the lights and the darks. Pretty exciting. I like that. And here's another one. Maybe a little dark, but I still like the brushwork and uh, where I was going that day, trying to get there. Again, sky plane, there's some heavy dense vegetation. Here's the water. This was actually a setting I did outside 
uh, near a lake in Orlando, Florida. All right. So great, I, was, I just wanted to do another quick video. Um, hopefully you can see some of the supplies I'm using, uh, brushes and such. Uh, these, these are pretty neat. These uh, are pretty neat to hold your, your panels so they can drive uh, by this company called uh, Art, Artwork Essentials. And of course, this is an Easel L by the same company that uh, puts it out. This is the Versa. This is uh, like my favorite easel right now because I travel with it. I can put it on a tripod. I can put it on a table and paint from it. It's pretty neat. And various brushes. Uh, some of my other, some of my other videos, I talked about uh, brushes, what to use, what type of paints, and I'm still experimenting myself. But uh, so that's where I'm at right now. I just wanted to wish you all a very happy, happy New Year. I had fun. Uh, and traveling around quite a bit all over the states. All right, so I look forward to making some more videos, and hopefully a few of you out there are, uh, you know, feel maybe inspired and maybe learning a few things. I'm still learning myself, uh, a life, uh, lifetime student. All right, thanks a lot again. This is SK. Check you. Bye bye.